What is the most important lesson that you learned this year? <laughs> Starting off heavy here. <laughs> I'm not over here saying that. Don't put me on a YouTube video. It was really probably one of the hardest years, I think, of our relationship. Are you ready for this, guys? Let's do this. It's a rare occasion that uh, Justin is gracing us with his presence for a proper sit down session. I wanted to do like our end of year video, maybe a bit different this year, and talk about like things that we learned things that we struggled with or things that we really enjoyed and just kind of like ask each other questions i also asked you guys on instagram and had some questions that i thought would be fun to add to this video so it's a bit of a q a to each other and from you so here we go are you ready, ready? So okay ready. What is the most important lesson that you learned this year? So there was lessons that we learned and mistakes that were made like involving working with contractors on home renovation. So there were learning lessons that were baked into that. But there was also lessons like the importance of your friend group, and the importance of routine and having a steady, reliable, cozy home to come back to at the end of the day. So those are some of the lessons that stick out in my mind. Yeah, those kind of go in tandem with this question. I feel like that's like, um, what challenges did you overcome? And I think some of the challenges that we were facing at the beginning of the year was like the feeling of not being stable in like a home base and like having a routine in a way because Azalea and kids, for those of you that have kids, probably know that they benefit really well from having some sort of like rhythm that they can go by each day and that way they're not like frazzled. So Zay, I feel like really enjoys having the routine. I think we really enjoy having the routine as well and I think that that's also helped a bit our relationship because I think the routine that we had when we were on the road was like so many things that we had to like plan and navigate and then there was also just like so much uncertainty of like, where we were gonna be and for how long and when were we gonna go to the next place and what were we gonna do? There was just like constant like seeking out for like things to do and keeping Azalea occupied and ourselves occupied and like finding the balance of time to work and time to adventure and play and then also time for like ourselves individually and then time for us together. And just to like go back and reference like in January, February, we were in Mexico and for those of you who don't know, we purchased the house in the spring in Henderson. Sight unseen. We bought the house when we were in Mexico, yes. just off of pictures on Zillow. <laughs> and we flew back to the States, drove yeah. our bus all the way across the country, came back, moved in, got Zay enrolled in school, and started renovating our house. Like basically immediately, because we had a timeline with the contractor and the way that we had the loan, so we had to kind of like jump in to the renovations straight away. And I jumped back into beekeeping yep. for Buda Bee Apiary, and we continued with the renovation, fast forward to now. Now we're in the UK enjoying time with family, and we've pretty much finished our kitchen, living room, dining room. Like all the communal space of the house is sort yeah. of like almost done. So anyway, when we speak to all these things, that's just a reference to everything that's happened this year. Or yeah. the major things that have yeah. happened this year, right? Yeah, a lot of things have happened this year, which things. kind of plays into one of the things that I've learned. I think towards the end of the year, I started to get a bit burnt out and I get really overwhelmed lately, I think. Just thinking about everything that needs to be done in the day, running the YouTube channel, my Moonflower Child business, uh, and managing our relationship and making sure that we're like feeding the fruits of all love there and like taking care of Azalea and you know, thinking about activities and play dates and things that she can do outside of school and thinking about being on a budget and like always wondering where the money is coming from and like all these struggles I feel like of things that we deal with as people, whether or not you work for yourself or not, but if you work for yourself, then it's like in a, on a different level. These are all things that I feel really overwhelmed by. And so I think I've been doing well at prioritizing more time for myself and more time for me with other women and more time for just, yeah, regrouping my mindset to be more level-headed so that I can kind of function with more joy. Cause I get really just like down in the dumps and it's not good for, my relationship with my family and Zay and it shows in the way that she reflects with her energy and her attitude so I feel like that has been 
something that I really learned to make time for. So just to review, lesson one, we learned what to do and what not to do yeah. when working with a contractor. Yeah. And that's not necessarily like lesson one in terms of priority. Let's just say it's one. Lesson two, for us, routine was really a breath of fresh air after being on the move for over a year. Yeah. That was really, really nice. Yeah, yeah. And then adding on to that lesson two to lesson three, for you, you would say that, you know, with the routine, you've been able to balance you know, your priorities a little bit better. Yeah, just taking care of myself because I really put myself at the bottom of any list that I have and putting myself a little higher always is a good thing. That means we get happy <laughs> Juby more often. <laughs> okay, well this goes really good with a question we had um, off of Instagram. Is there anything that you haven't learned that you want to learn? Oh God, where do I even start? I know, so many things, oh, right? Jeez. I know that I didn't do my motorcycle hoorah this year and I'm planning on doing that next year. I think I was just really confused with the like, DMV and all the regulations of what you need to do in order to get like license and I kind of thought you had to own a motorcycle and we just like haven't been in a place to own the motorcycle. Speaking of vehicles, how about that truck? Now that was a lesson. To not overload we your plate. That. We, we, we not passed that have question. Time for. Um, now we're on the, what do we want to learn? <laughs> yeah, I think for me, I think I want to like do something educational next year to kind of like grow my knowledge base around everything that I enjoy. Something to do with like or therapy or like motorcycle riding, those are not the same at all. <laughs> but like, I just want to find a way to like, with the concept of creating community and bringing people into our home for kind of like collective style retreat experiences. What I'm trying to share and experience and like teach, I guess, through art is somehow helping you in theory. It should, or I hope it would. And I would want to like find a way to better understand the process that people as humans go through to like better appreciate being creative. That was a very complex answer. That's, that's, that's beautiful, babe. That's beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. Well, mine are not nearly as eloquent as uh, the you motorcycle just put, riding. Uh, it sounds like, you know, <laughs> mine don't sound like I want to save the world. But uh, for me, what I'd really like to focus on, I got a taste of it in Mexico, which was diving, but we're just not really that close to water to do diving, as well as sailing. So those ones are on the shelf. I haven't forgot about them, but I've got my peepers on them when the time becomes available. Like life goals to learn new yeah, skills, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But really, I think I just want to expand on my hobbies at the moment are disc golf, rock climbing, and mountain biking. Mm. And really, for next spring, want to kind of really work on getting out there more on the mountain biking front. I went for one trip last year with a good buddy of mine, Vince. Went up to Brevard, North Carolina, and that was an epic trip. And then otherwise, you know, woodworking too has really caught my eye. Oh yeah, you've been doing a lot of that in the house too. Yeah, to a degree, but nothing that's been like, you know, making a piece that I can be proud of. It's just been learning the basics, but I would really like to play around with making a custom table in our dinette. Um, another one from Instagram is, what is something that you're grateful for that was completely unexpected? Well, we knew we were buying the house kind of like once we got into the new year. What we didn't know is that once we moved into the house and got settled, like after one month, we were gonna have our really good friends living with us, our besties basically moving in. And it was really cool to have company that we know so well. It also like was really an opportunity to deepen relationship, our relationships with our two good friends and also Knox, their kid. Just really a fun opportunity to experience like communal living, which is really what we bought such a big home for, to be able to share it with others. And so it was really fun to have them just learn to be better people from people you love the most. So yeah, I'm really grateful for, for that. Yeah, for me, that is something I'm appreciative for. I didn't know, I didn't know if I should expect it or not, but like with the stress of like, traveling all the time and knowing that like GB really wasn't centered in that kind of kind of lifestyle. I it just really... needed like a, a like an end goal I guess of like because we were kind of posted up in Mexico and we weren't like I don't know I need like a creative <laughs> outlet like a space of space to do creative things it's weird I like thrive off of that kind of life I can't just like sit back and do nothing so knowing that like GB wasn't really like centered and grounded with that type of lifestyle 
which is totally okay. It really brought up a lot of tension between her and I. It was really difficult with, you know, planning you know, date nights, you know. Those were still difficult to come by. We just didn't have the balance that we needed, and so our relationship was suffering from that. Now that we've transitioned to something with a little bit more routine, I feel like we just, that balance has become so much more You're apparent. You're grateful for our relationship? Yeah, 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 yeah. The Me balance, too. The balance I will say has that... brought our relationship to a better place. So we were going through definitely a rocky patch at the beginning of this year, and I feel like it may have shown or may not have shown through on our YouTube channel, but also a big part of that rocky patch was obviously integrated into the YouTube business because it's our channel and running the, the channel together for the last like two, three years and, and then you really were wanting to kind of step back from being on the YouTube as much and I kind of struggled to see a direction and a head towards the, the heading towards the, cha the channel was gonna be going. That was actually one of the questions. So like working through all our relationship things that we were going through kind of behind the scenes and I actually I made a tea time at the beginning of the video like what was really going on with our relationship and kind of um, spoke more openly about every struggle not every struggle but like some of the struggles that we were going through but one of the questions was has Justin stepped away from the YouTube space and if so why because he's not on the videos that much yeah I think the beginning of the year going through everything that we did we wanted to kind of work it through together I also wanted to be very honest and truthful and open with you guys, but at the same time wanted to be able to have that be something that we were working through together privately because we didn't really know how to get through it or what was going on and how we were gonna, you know, fix it. It was really probably one of the hardest years I think of our relationship, but I think this year was very telling to how much we really believe in our relationship and how much we really want to work through to get to the other side even when it is difficult. Yeah, no, I agree with all that. Yeah. I think, well, I think the lesson there really was that we realized that each of us has individual desires and needs in life for like where we want to live and how we want to live and like our hobbies and things that we want to accomplish. And so we're trying to kind of make sure that we're each getting those things because we were in Mexico and living completely like rogue off the grid and like we were just living much more like without a home base and that's really what you've been craving for so long and then I've always traveled growing up um, with my family being divorced I was kind of like always on the road a bit so I always craved like a home base or at least to have a home base before I go and travel elsewhere and somewhere I can come back to to kind of like nest so we realized that that needed to be something that we worked on and that was a good step into the right direction with the house and we also really enjoy doing projects but we also really enjoy traveling and you also need to do what you need to do to get your head on straight which is like you know your mountain bike trips and time away from family and and then i realized also i need to do it but in my own way which is much more spiritual and grounded in my opinion being in a relationship it's important to compromise because then you're like both getting a little bit of what you each want but I also understand your angle of like sacrificing doing something that you would want in order to compromise you know mm. so tell us babe will you be coming back to the YouTube what's the situation with that we've gotten that question a lot from my understanding yeah yeah I feel well not like a crazy amount but it's like unclear because I even feel like it's a bit unclear because like our channel is still Justin and Jubium it started out as a Moonflower Child channel and then it morphed into a Vagabond Caravan channel which then became Justin and Juby. And it was like very much our channel that we were working on creating content together. Like you were actively filming and taking the camera on your own accord and we were coming up with video ideas together. Mostly me, but I would kind of like have you help to kind of contribute to create content that was so that it could be a balanced man, woman channel kind of thing and it's slowly become less of that I guess yeah when we came back there was a lot of talk from Mexico all the way to when we came back to the States about Juby wanting to take a different artistic direction on the channel and then also we had talked a lot about me when I come back I would jump in and help with the beekeeping with Buddha Bee Apiary so that's this Basically, this as simple as you can make it is that you know we came back to the states, and a big portion of my time was taken up by beekeeping, and so that's the easiest way I can describe it is like, 
yes, I've stepped back from the YouTube. You don't see me much on there anymore. Primarily because, like, like you were saying about the two separate paths, you know, we're going the same direction, but we're on two separate paths. And to me, you know, it was very clear that the direction you wanted to take the channel, which is the more artistic, creative side of you, and then relaunching Empire Child, was not something that I fit into, nor would I be helpful with. And so for me, focusing on Budabi, which, you know, I created eight years ago, and, and created it from a, a strong passion for honeybees, it only made sense for me to dive back into that at first. Yeah, like you said, I'm more the creative one in this space. You're much more calculated and analytical, so like, we kind of slowly shifted into different roles within the business and I became much more the person that you saw on the channel. I enjoy working with the camera, coming up with different like storylines and ideas and kind of creative visions for what each video could be. I also work with Tara who helps to edit these videos and I feel like a sense of just it wanting to express in a much more feminine energy and a lot of the videos that I think about doing are also much more related to things that I'm really interested in. The beginning whenever you were using the camera was also like we were renovating the bus and we were looking to find a way to make a living remotely and the YouTube really started picking up which is amazing. So grateful that we were even able to you know make the channel become something really incredible to help us sustain making a living and being on the road and traveling. Um, it's really because of that that we've been able to like, you know, adventure and it was only just this year that you really started taking a living from Buddha Bee and wanting to kind of like help that business really grow and we're just in a different place in life I think right now we've really just grown to want to do different things. I'm not over here like saying that, you know, don't put me on a YouTube video, obviously I'm here now. With my focus, you know, we've got two other team members and we've got a lot of bees that we're trying to keep healthy and keep alive and my focus has got to go there you know that's it plain and simple like I just don't have enough bandwidth if like I want to be able to spend quality time with Zay, spend quality time with you, spend quality time with myself and also balance work. Well thumbs up if you want a springtime beekeeping video I was hoping to make it work for this year and come along with him for one of his beekeeping days but for some reason we could never make it work on the schedule and that's probably on my part. Things were just chaotic with the contractor navigating all that renovation project space and then also coming out to the it was just we needed to be like at the house and managing all that. What was your favorite moment about this year? I think my favorite moment honestly was like walking into the house that we bought without ever seeing it and then just being like oh my god we own this house this is like completely our house and we're about to do all kinds of crazy things in here and make it our own. It was being back home and throwing parties with friends. Friends giving Hosting and that taking trips, the guys disc golf trip, and you know, just being back in the community again. Yeah, we realized actually that traveling on the road is quite lonely. I mean, obviously you meet people all along the way. I guess for us, we found it to be more lonely than not. Again, it was just out of balance. Leading, yeah, it was balance. all time with each other when, you know, it's nice for you know you to break it up with some personal time and time with friends and stuff like that, so. Okay, so last couple of questions. This one's super random. Do you have any new tattoos this year? No. I do. I finished, or I guess I added to the floral arm piece that I had on there. There's a whole story. I was gonna make a video. It's not the right flower. I went through a really, really dark space with it. And so I never made the video. And then we added more like sacred geometry to kind of like mask the flower to kind of help me not see it so much. It's a whole thing, but it's not quite how I had envisioned a tattoo on my arm to be, but I added that tattoo this year. Last question, speaking on traveling and red pepper. What's up with the red pepper and like, are we gonna travel in it and do some more trips or are we ever gonna live in it again? I mean, I guess our next year plans are still kind of like evolving. For sure we know we have to be in the triangle um, until as late as like end of school year. Yeah, well point is, is we're definitely gonna take it out for more trips, whether or not we'll live in it again full time, that's another question. Questionable, yeah. Probably not, but we're definitely gonna take it on some trips where we don't know yet, but we're hoping that while we're visiting here, we have time to sit down 
and make some plans for next year. Yeah. That's usually what we like to try to do whenever we're here. And we talked about going to the Pacific Northwest and taking the Red Pepper on like a northern route because we never really did that whole northern part of the US all the way across to like Oregon and the Dakotas and Washington and all that. Um, so we're still hoping to do that at some point. Who knows if it'll happen next year or not. So we're just kind of like going with it. Moms. Justin out. <laughs> no. I just wanted to say, Aww. moms, I love you. I love you too, babe. We've learned a lot. We've grown a lot. We have a lot more uh, to work on. But in the end, I love these adventures with you and Zay. Yeah, me so, too. The best with that, with that, I am actually out. No. <laughs> I gotta go. Thank you for watching, and I hope this was like helpful, or maybe gave you some clarity on where we're at, where the channels at, where we're going. Hopefully give you little tidbits of pearls of wisdom we've learned along the way that you can use in your home dynamic or with your family or whatever and i hope you've had a really great 2022 and we'll see you guys next year peace